how to create wix custom forms hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create custom forms in wix so having said that let's just jump into the video now in order to do that you're going to need to you know go ahead and create a new website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new website so why would you need to create a custom form well sometimes you know you want to have like a form on multiple different pages of your website but uh, sometimes Wix does not allow that because it tells you to upgrade your plan. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now, once you're creating a website, usually what would happen is you will automatically add a forms page into your website, right? So over here, as you can see, you have it over here. But let's just say you've already created a website and you forgot to add it. You can do that later on as well. So for now, I'm just simply going to skip all of these. And I'm just simply going to go into the template section and, you know, find a website. So, for example, if we have a blog, let's say a personal blog or something like that, you know, like this website right here, you know, I mean, this is just for example, but let's just take this website. So over here, we have a bunch of different options. We already have a, you know, uh, forms right here. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So let's go ahead and edit this template. So the editor is loading up over here. So let's just wait for it to be loaded up. All right, so the editor is loaded up and this is how it looks like. Now, let me just scroll down, all right? So we already have this page, but let's just say that, you know, you don't want this. You want to create a one for yourself, right? So let's just say that remove this one and remove this one as well. So in order to add a custom forms, what you're going to need to do is you want to create a content manager, right? So come over here onto the left side, you're going to see all of your options. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on add option over here. And you're going to see you don't have a, a lot of option. What you're going to do is, you know, click on the content manager over here and click on add to site. So it's going to go ahead and add the content manager in your website right here. So you're going to have a bunch of different options, right? A custom forms, you know, projects and all of that. So you can go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, delete that. I'm going to want to add that. And I want to click on create a collection for myself, right? So I'm going to click over here. Let's just say it's a submissions, right? It's a submission form. And we will say that it's a multiple item or a single item. Let's say it's a multiple item and we'll click on create. Now that that's been created, what we'll do over here is we'll create a collection. So usually if this is a new one and we're going to create a new one. So over here, you're going to have your title and all of the other fields. So let's just say we go into properties and change the title to full name right and since this is a text field we're going to keep it text field click on that then we have a bunch of different other ones but none of these really matter to us then i want to add like an email as well so i'm going to keep it text as well then maybe like a phone number and over here i want to change the field text to number and if you are trying to create like say a uh, submissions form for employees you would need to you know add a bunch of different other ones a bunch of other different fields such as a, a you know resume field maybe a start day end day uh, type of jobs or whatever but you know generally it is up to you how many fields you want and what type of fields you want but I think a full name a email address and a phone number is generally what you know you need and maybe we can add like uh a description box or you know what is it that you're looking for so we'll just say uh, it's a description box so once you've done that just simply click on save so now you have your fields ready right so you have your database ready we can now go ahead and add the main stuff so now that that's done what you're going to do is click over here onto the left side and you will see you have a new option called input now once you've added the content manager this is the option that's going to pop up so what we're going to do is we're going to add these you know drop down menus and stuff like that so i want to add this one add your name right so over here i'm going to add that i want to add three more since two more actually so there we go i'm going to do that over here i'm going to put this one right over here i'm going to take this and i'm going to slowly move it up over here since this is how it looks like you know maybe like scroll it down a little bit so you know maybe like give it a little bit of option so that you know we have a little bit more wiggle room so i think yeah this one looks good maybe a little bit down over here move this one down as well a little bit over here then that looks nice now what we want to do is i want to add a button as well so a simple button nothing too crazy 
so we have a bunch of different options over here so you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want but uh we'll just simply add a button right here now you can edit these text fields however you feel like it as i said before it all depends on you so i'm gonna add the button right here yeah i think that looks good now i'm gonna add like a text over here like a small little heading something like this I'm gonna add that over here and i'm gonna say leave a comment or let me know what you think or stuff like that or maybe like uh, like you know a request form i'll just say submit to request and then i'll just realign them for the center one here i think that looks good next what you want to do is next what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and add your database right so to add the database again click on the add button and you will see underneath content manager you will see all of your form so what we want is we want a data set right i'm going to click over here and we're going to add the data set we have this data set right here now don't worry uh, this little icon will not be you know shown on your main website this can only be viewed by you no other person can actually see this icon so we'll click on settings and you know select our database or collection that we just created so this is the one that we created we're going to choose the submissions and in over here since this is a you know submission box we're going to keep it at read only and yeah now that that's connected our database is connected now we want to link one by one each of these to the database so since this is your first name so in this field i'm going to change it to you know full name over here over here and then over here we're going to change this one to email as well actually i forgot to add another one that which was the comment box so i'm going to add that as well and this is going to be the number i mean usually the people don't require a number for requests but you know it is what it is Okay, and i'm going to add the input and over here i want to add this giant text box right underneath here i'm going to move this up a little bit over here move this up here move this up here there we go nice and easy yeah there we go so over here i'm going to click on settings and placeholder text default text i'm going to change it to requests over here yeah then i'm going to link it to requests as well click on this connect to data icon over here and since it's connected to submissions we're going to change it to description over here for this one we're going to connect it to email over here and for this one we're going to connect it to our number change it to number over here and then for this one we're going to add our full name so here we go and then for the button you know i want to change the text to submit over here and then i want to collect it to the database as a submit button i forgot we need to again since this is the database so here we go i don't have that i guess all oh, right i think i need to change it the settings to uh read and write only read and write here yeah. then i think now i can connect to the submit button there we go we have now connected to the submit button there you go and now i'll change the settings back to write only sorry write only here we go it's connected yeah now what i'll do is since we have all of these set up now what i'll do is i'll save it and i'll publish the website there we go so i'm going to view my website in a new tab and i'm going to open up a temporary email address over here scroll down to the website and we will see the form so now i'm going to copy the email i'm going to enter in a fake name john doe enter in my email enter in a random number and i'll say do one on uh elon musk or someone like that like since this is a blog so and then i'll click on submit now i don't know if it's submitted so let me just actually take a look over here into the content manager I'm going to manage content submissions over here and i should have my options right here but i don't maybe it's because the submit button hasn't been properly linked so let me change it to yeah read and write i mean it is connected to the database right yeah submission database yeah i think that's done so let's see over here again let me just reload the page scroll down at the bottom add the number add any request and click on submit oh i forgot 
I think it's because since this is a number field, I think I did actually. Ah, I forgot one important step, guys, also. Uh, this is a big step. I don't know how I forgot this. So what you're going to do is once you go back over here, right? Once you've created this content manager, this content table, right? Your form, what you're going to do is click on these three dots over here and go into collection settings, go into advanced and from site content, you want to change it to a form submission, right? And then you want to save it. So this is the one that I messed up. I forgot. So yeah, I think now that it's done, let me just save it again. And now let me just publish it again, just in case. So I think now we should be good to go. So now if I come over here, I add in the email address, add in the name and I add in the numbers, right? And I say anything you want, like this is the request, right? Then I just simply click on submit. And as you can see your content, this is a little weird because I accidentally added the uh, message, but uh, yeah. Now that we look back, now that we go back over here, go back into the submissions, we're going to see that it actually works. We're going to see all of the data that we just input it over here. So name, email, number, and request. So pretty much that's how we do it, right? So again, uh, let's go ahead and actually, you know, remove. So yeah, guys, that's how we do it. That's how you add a custom forms in Wix. So that's how you do it. That's how you use it. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below. And I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.